Good evening. I hope everybody has had a great day today. The story I'd like to share with you tonight comes out of Luke chapter 7, and it's verses 11 through 17. And it's when Jesus raises the widow's son at Nain, and this is how the story goes. Soon afterwards, Jesus went to a town called Nain, and his disciples and a large crowd went with him. As he approached the gate of the town, a man who had died was being carried out. He was his mother's only son, and she was a widow, and with her was a large crowd from the town. When the Lord saw her, he had compassion for her and said to her, Do not weep. Then he came forward and touched the bear, and the bear stood still, and he said, Young man, I say to you, rise. The dead man sat up and began to speak, and Jesus gave him to his mother. Fear seized all of them, and they glorified God, saying, A great prophet has risen among us, and God has looked favorably on his people. This word about him spread throughout Judea and all the surrounding country. And I really like this story because in it, Jesus has just come into this town and this funeral is going on. And somehow, we're not really told how, but somehow he realizes that this is the mother's only son and she's a widow, which means she has no male family left to her, which means she's basically going to be thrown out on the street and treated as a beggar. Um, back in Jesus's day, that was just how it was. Women needed to have a man to look after them and take care of them. And now she has no one. And I just really like it says how he looked at her and he had compassion. He was not asked by anyone to do what he did. He just did what he knew he needed to do. He brought that son back to that widow so that they could be a family again. And I have to believe that in her heart, that's probably what she was praying for. Maybe even it had been a long illness for the son and she prayed for healing during that time. Or maybe it had been a quick death and she just prayed that he could come back and that he could be there with her. But Jesus knows the heart of this woman, just like Jesus knows every heart of ours. And he already knows what we are praying for long before we say it with our mouths. It's already in our hearts and he knows our hearts and he knows what's in them and he knows our prayers. Now that doesn't mean we shouldn't pray, we still should, but at the same time, sometimes it's just hard to say what we need to say and to bring the prayers out into the spoken world, but they're still there in our hearts and Jesus knows it. So even on those days when it's hard to say those prayers, Jesus knows what is in our heart and what we want to say. So it's just a comforting thought that on those bad days, even the prayers are going to be said when we can't actually say them. Let us pray for this evening. Good and gracious God, thank you so much for today. And thank you for this story in Luke and the reminder that Jesus knows exactly what is in our heart at all times. And so on those days when it's hard and we can't say the words we need to say, Jesus already knows them and will answer and hear those prayers. We just thank you for this gift and for this time to come together and pray tonight. And I hope that everybody praying along with me will say the prayers that are in their hearts along with what I am saying. And I just pray that you hear them, Lord, and that you answer every one of those prayers in your time and in your way. In Jesus' name, amen. So I hope you have a great evening tonight and get a good night's sleep. And I'll see everybody here tomorrow. Good night. Sleep tight.